सिर्फ गिरिश सिर्फ सुदीप सिर्फ समात्मा सिर्फ मिसे साधवानी सिर्फ पंकज सिर्फ राजू सिर्फ रेखा सिर्फ सगाई सिर्फ ब्रिको सिर्फ पार्वतीमा सिर्फ एरु सिर्फ मुतकुला आनंद सिर्फ राजेश राव सिर्फ मिसेस बीरचंद एंड सिर्फ ब्लिस वेलकम टू दिस कॉल एंड टुडेस कॉल इज द टाइटल ऑफ द टुडेस कॉल इज हु इज अ ट्रू गुरु सो ओवर टू यू who would like to start who is a true guru is a guru important in our lives and if the guru is important the question because without a true guru then how do you reach that state can you reach that state or we don't need a guru so let us hear your views a true guru is an eternal link to god how do you say that he takes away he guides the shishya to bring him out of darkness to light okay so you are giving the classical uh the classical example of uh, or yes. the energy of guru, guru, guru himself guru. is an enlightened person devoid of any ego and without any selfish motive he guides the shishya to attain enlightenment okay so uh, girish since you have been the first champion the first one to speak my question to you is who is a true guru before we go to rajesh rao who is a true guru such a person he is called sat guru he is a true guru. so some people will take you as sat guru is a true guru <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, that is how the branding gets affected let us ask rajesh rao and sangam gupta because i want to help you attain the right uh, frequency of a true guru okay so it is very important very important for me if i had not had a true guru in my life i would not be capable of talking to you today if i am capable of talking to you today if i have any sense in my head little bit also sense in my head it is because of my guru so let us uh, ask rajesh rao rajesh rao who is a true guru I just wanted to quote from one session I was listening. Mm-hmm. So in that he says, "Murshid to wo jo asudai manjil karade, vanna rasta to har koi bata deta hai." So a true guru is the one who will lead you to the destination. It is same like the bullet in the gun. Otherwise, anybody can throw the bullet, but the bullet will have no value. So true guru is the one who will Very make you reach that place. Huh? Okay, repeat your, repeat your, repeat, repeat your. Uh, what do you say? Diary. What did you say? Let's Diary make sure this came. Let him hear you. Ah, yeah. Murshid, तो वो है जो असुदाय मंजिल करा दे, वरना रास्ता तो हर कोई बता देता है. रास्ता तो हर कोई बता देता है. गुरु वो जो मंजिल तक पहुंचा देता है. Huh? Making it in uh, understandable words. So, uh, Rajesh, would you like to explain what you are saying, Rajesh? Would you like to go further? He is the one who will be there till the end with you, and he will till that experience is there. So that is the right guru who will. You know, it's very important for all of us to understand. I had so many people who claim to be guru. I had so many uh, swamis and masters who came to me in that period when I was a seeker, and I had I I stuck I listened to many people, but I stuck on to one guru. why did i stick on to one guru why did i choose dada as my guru so that's the reason and and today we as a group must must understand who is the true guru anybody say i am sat guru means does not become he becomes a true guru anybody can say i am uh, sat guru or satya guru or sach ka guru or whatever uh, sangam gupta and rekha parve sangam gupta ji who is the true guru सर मेरे हिसाब से तो ट्रू गुरु वो है तो गुरु हु मेक्स द गुरु हु डजंट मेक द डिसाइपल फ्रॉम माय पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू व्हाट आई एम थिंकिंग बट व्हाट व्हाट इफ द पर्सन ओनली वांट्स टू बी एनलाइटेंड एंड डजंट वांट टू बिकम अ गुरु देयर आर मेनी पीपल लाइक दैट नो संगम जी गुरु इज एनलाइटेंड एंड व्हेन गुरु इज मेकिंग द नॉट मेकिंग द डिसाइपल ही इज मेकिंग द गुरु तो गुरु इज मेकिंग अ एनलाइटेंड गुरु नो सर Uh, don't take it otherwise. Take it this way. 
Uh, yeah. If you are my guru, you are enlightened, right? Okay. You don't want to make me a disciple. You want to make me a guru like you. But try to understand. You are, what you're saying is a good point. You are meaning something else. What you're saying, a true guru takes us to the complete wisdom. Yeah. Complete wisdom. But what in your saying, sometimes a person who becomes completely enlightened does not want to go and share knowledge. He just wants to remain. He doesn't want to become a guru. That, that is his problem. No? That is his problem. Yeah. Knowledge. Ah, but is he's, capable. What you're saying, he's, he's capable of being a guru. He's been made to become a guru. Yeah. He's, okay. he's guru already. He's already guru when he's enlightened. Yeah. It's like a teacher. The a, a good teacher is not one who, create, who teaches students. A good teacher is one who creates teachers. Yeah. Okay. Rekha Par, thank you, Sangyamji. Rekha Parvani. So you, I, want, I want you all to know today what are the elements of a true guru. My guru, when I used to call him guru, the first thing you said, they don't call me guru. I'm not a guru. A true guru will never call themselves a guru. The first sign of a true guru is a true guru will not say, I'm a guru. The man, minute the man says, I am a guru, means he's not a guru. Because the Guru does not acknowledge that he's a Guru. The Guru knows that we are all seekers. The Guru knows that we are all seekers of the Divine. The Guru doesn't believe that uh, he, he has become a Guru. So let us not have this feeling. Oh, I am a Guru. No, 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 no. That is a first, uh, first mistake. And then many of you get carried away by Gurus who are wearing fancy robes. Huh? Long beard, dadi, the longer the hair, the longer the hair. Um, what is the color of the vibhuti on the head? Whether the guru is carrying a, is wearing a rudraksh mala on his neck. Are, kya, ya, is, this, is this what a true guru is? So I am yet waiting for a real good answer from all of you. What is a true guru? I want you all to give me because without a true guru, what will you be? What would I be? I could be nothing. I would be a zero. Shunya. Zero. Rekha Parvani. Who is the true guru? I want all of you to attempt this today, like I made you all attempt uh, the three tenets of causation. I made many of you repeat it, right? I don't know how many of you remember the three tenets of causation. I would like one of you, any of you to repeat that after uh, after Rekha Parvani and then Chidanas. Rekha Parvani. Shivoham Air. Shivoham Rekha. Without guru, there is no Prabhu. A true guru is one who has enlightened himself and he doesn't expect anything from us. It is from myth to satya. So if a guru cannot take you from myth to satya because you are not you are not capable of going, so he is not a good guru? He is not a true guru? No, no. He is true. Then there is a problem with us. But you are saying a guru is only one who can take us from mithya to satya. Suppose the guru cannot take you from mithya to satya. Then what happens? No. An enlightened guru will do that. With his okay. help, we will get this enlightenment. Okay, I am still trying to find some elements which will help you all identify whether you are following a right guru, you are searching for a right guru, you are talking to a right guru. I don't know how many of you have a guru. You don't speak to me about your guru. So how many of you have a true guru and how many of you are able to make the best of that guru? Chidanand and Sudip Bhargo. Shivam Guruji. Shivam, sir. Uh, uh, guru is, uh, is in the eyes of a disciple, first of all. Good. Because, because uh, when, a, when a person is enlightened, now he may, he, he may be a sannyasi wearing the robes, etc. Because that is the attire of a sannyasi. Or he may be a grahastha who is living and be, is a karma yogi in the midst of the society. So the attire only establishes from which lineage he comes. Otherwise, uh, invitations are all uh, different things. But like Swami, Chinman, and the Vagari, because they, are, they were sannyasis, hence they are, they are dressed in a particular way. Others may be like uh, you, sir, or Dada, who don't uh, go into that sannyasi part of it, and they are part of the world, and they are karma yogi. Now, Guru is always, the person who is enlightened will never claim that he is a Guru. Because there are so many enlightened people, who, who, who are enlightened, and if somebody decide, if disciple wants to admit it as a guru, then he tests him actually, first of all, see whether he is, he is capable of, then once that, that uh, bond is established, 
then from wherever whichever state that disciple is a uh, uh, guru who is who, who, who is like for example a sadguru sadguru means there are so many gurus in various faculties but sadguru is the one who who will take you to sat that is that is how the word coinage of word sadguru versus any other guru acharya uh, swami etc are for various uh, you know it's like we have a lot of professors doctors uh, these are all designations so i personally feel uh, once the disciple is ready he automatically can identify a guru but who and is a first, true guru who is a true guru true guru he is one to first of all he has embarked on the path of making others enlightened he himself being uh, enlightened second uh, he he never uh, what we call because under him there may be many 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 disciples each disciple is having his own start point or his own uh, uh, emotions or uh, characteristics so he identifies them and he takes them to their uh, lecture and not only that he may use all sorts of methods depending upon what type of disciple he is and then he and then he is actually in fact he doesn't sleep till the disciple gets enlightened is the other way around okay so good i mean so the chidanand has so many points to give on the true guru thank you jaran sudeep bhargava who the true guru shivam sir shivam sir so my point uh, grishi has already sent the message but i'll just elaborate on that message for me true guru would be somebody beyond the scriptures he should be able to set up an example of himself in front of the disciple disciple should be able to say i don't know what is moksha but i want to be like my guru i want to be reach where my guru is if that is moksha very good so he should be an example in front of his disciple rather than just giving the ratta marava scriptures that this is what is written in this scripture this is written in this scripture that i think anybody can teach but true guru would be somebody who will show that living example see you read this i am living that example my conduct will show you that i am living that what the scriptures teach you for me that would be the main characteristic of a guru because now i can make you as my example i want to be like you i am not worried about the scriptures that for me would be a true guru thank you sudeep but what i want all of you to understand what is a good mobile phone sudeep sudeep bargava what is a good mobile phone so it should be able to meet my requirements uh, within so my today, project in so today's please. world in today's world a good mobile phone is one in which you can make calls in which it's got data ah, yes. got internet correct, correct. which can play music which has got a camera this is what is a good mobile phone if the mobile phone is looking like a fancy mobile phone it has got an apple stamp on it but you can't damn it play whatsapp on it you can't play you can't transfer files you can't copy stuff on that mobile phone then what is the use of that mobile phone i am trying to make you all understand today what is a guru what is the true guru okay sudeep you want to be like a guru whoever you whoever, whoever be your mentor whoever be the role model for you i also felt that like be but the guru has a function the guru the most important is who is that true guru what is guru somebody one of i think rekha parvani who one of you some of you said guru means somebody who takes from gu to ru or other not, not somebody who takes guru means go means darkness ru means light i all clear about this is there any confusion about this the word guru comes from the root word guru Guru is darkness. Guru is light. So the first aspect of a guru is he cannot be darkness. The first thing to look at a guru, he has to be ruru. He has to be light after light. If the guru himself is in darkness, how can he teach you? How can he take you to light? If the guru is sending beams of darkness onto you, then he cannot be a guru. My guru would answer any question. If I asked my guru a question, he knew the answer. He was a hundred years old. he was a 100 years old when i went to him and asked him questions the last question i asked my guru i told him dada dada what is our biggest weakness and he said our biggest weakness is forgetfulness we forget prabhu 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 and i asked him dada what is our biggest strength he said our biggest strength is remembrance prabhu 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 both answers were one and this is the last question i asked my guru 
the guru is the one who takes us from go to ro when i asked my guru i used to have so many arguments with my guru so many discussions he would say no no this astral world one the biggest argument i had with him is about astral world and i don't even talk to you about astral world because i don't acknowledge it because some people they use the method of astral world to explain realization we don't need to it's very simple and my guru encouraged me he said throw, throw astral world aside don't worry about astral world you move on you don't need to talk about astral world so what was my guru what made me call my guru g o e i called my guru jo i called my guru jo means my god on earth what made me call you think it's easy to have a god on earth oh no it's not easy to have a jo so let us ask ru mata ji atmatre bliko ashok chotwani who what is the true guru who is the true guru ru mata ji i want to say pranam guru ji shiv pranam mata ji bolie shivoham guru ji first Mataji. three steps of cause and effect every effect has a cause very good effect is nothing but cause in different form very good and third is if cause is removed then there is no areva this is a true guru see she is a true guru a true guru no, guru ji guru ji gu, true guru aap hai Jho... mujhe guru mat bolie maine kitna baar aap logo ko bola hai don't call Nain. me guru आप माने ना माने हम तो मानते हैं आपको अपना गुरु आप शिष्य पता नहीं हमें मानते हैं नहीं मानते पर हम आपको गुरु मानते हैं पहली बात है आप जैसे गुरु होते हैं जो वेन एवर आई हैव कॉल्ड यू वेदर इट इज नाइट वेदर इट इज मिड नाइट वेदर इट इज मॉर्निंग वॉट एवर मे बी द टाइम यू हैव ऑलवेज गिवन मी माई क्लैरिफिकेशन टू माई डाउट्स and i think the main thing of the guru function of the guru whatever we call is ki wo aapki jigyasa ko shant karta hai he makes you and or daily aap hame wo sab baatein remind karate hain not even remind karate hain you make us repeat so that it goes in our head <laughs> par hamare head mein fir bhi nahi jaati sari baatein aur guru to wo hi hai jo भगवान का रूप है गुरु धरती पर आए मतलब भगवान से भी गुरु को ज्यादा माना गया है गुरु गोविंद दोनों खड़े काके लागू पाओ बलियाहारी गुरु आपने जिन गोविंद मिलाए तो गुरु की इम्पोर्टेंस तो भगवान से भी ऊपर है गुरु जी तो कंटिन्यू जो आप हमारे लिए करते हैं मैंने देखा कभी आप मीटिंग में होते हैं बिजी होते हैं सो का आंसर नहीं दे सके यू कॉल बैक आफ्टर वर्ड और यू सेंड अ मैसेज नो बडी कैन डू नाइ दर रे नॉर एनी थिंग कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम टेक कंडक्टिंग आस केयर और आपने तो टेन थाउजेंड टिकट के भी कैंसिलेशन के पे कर दिए सो हु कैन डू ओनली अ गुरु कैन डू फॉर शिष्य गुरु आई एम जस्ट अ कर्म योगी नो मैं कह रही हूँ ना आप चाहे ना माने पर हम हंड्रेड परसेंट आपको गुरु मानते हैं और तो आपको मान कर चलते हैं रूमाता जी पहली बार ये है ट्रू गुरु इज दैट पर्सन हु वांट टू फ्लॉन्ट हिमसेल्फ एज अ गुरु जो yes. गुरु जो आदमी खुद को गुरु मानता है वो कभी गुरु नहीं बन सकता है उस कभी सच ही इज नेवर अ ट्रू गुरु जो आदमी ऐसा मानता है कि मैं गुरु हूं मैं गुरु हूं मैं सब जानता हूं वो आदमी hmm. सबसे बड़ा फ्रॉड है नॉट अ गुरु लास्ट क्वेश्चन कितना अच्छा है आपका गुरु का गुरु जी का फॉरगेटफुल एंड रिमेम्बरेंस का प्रभु ही सब कुछ है तो But आप गुरु... हमें डेली याद कराते हैं गुरु वही है जो हमें रियलिटी से डेली हमें clothes fine i may wear a white clothes fine i may wear symbolically wear but that does not create a guru everybody who wears the dress of a sanyasi does not become a guru everybody who says i am a sanyasi is not a guru par guru ji man ko pata hota hai man jo hai na wahi click karta hai jahan usko 
सेटिस्फेक्शन मिलती है वो दस लोग वही इंसान उसी को गुरु मानेगा रो माता जी आपको पता है क्यों डू यू नो वाई लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू वाई जो आप मन बोल रहे हैं एक्चुअली वो मन नहीं है बुद्धि है जब जब हमारे बुद्धि को लगता है कि किसी के प्रभाव से वेन वी आर इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाई समी एंड वी आर एबल टू मूव फ्रॉम डार्कनेस टू लाइट वी सी द गुरु इट्स वेरी सिंपल रू माता जी वेन यू आर वेन यू आर एबल टू सी लाइट देन यू हैव इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द गुरु अगर एक आदमी है वो भुगु है आपके सामने बड़ी बड़ी बातें करते हैं लेकिन आपके आपके समझ में कुछ नहीं आता है कुछ रोशनी नहीं आता देर इज नो लाइट देर इज नो विजडम देर इज नो रियलाइजेशन देन वॉट काइंड ऑफ गुरु इज दैट जी बिल्कुल तो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अ गुरु I asked Sudeep just now, what is the use of a mobile phone if you can't make a call from the mobile phone? It may have buttons of diamond and a panel of gold. It may have a button of diamond and a panel of gold, but if the damn equipment inside the damn phone cannot make a mobile phone call, then it's a raddi, it's a useless mobile phone. Yeah. What is the use of diamond and gold in the mobile phone? So you you have to evaluate is. see you may have anybody as your guru i had a guru you may have anybody you may choose anybody as your guru but the person whom you think is your guru that person should be able to take you from go to ro that person should be able to switch on the light that person should not claim to be a big guru that person should have himself or herself the realization of the truth that person like ru mata ji said that person should be able to give you an answer to your question when i went to my guru never never he told me i don't have answer in the 25 years i was with my guru ek bar usne mujhe ye nahi kaha ki i don't have answer ek bar ha kabhi unhone bola i am not really sure of this whether it is a or b i will confirm to you tomorrow a or b and next day he called me and told me this is b it is not a but my guru was so so humble and like i told you he never you tell guru ji he said what is guru ek guru kya hota hai guru guru mat bolo guru se kya hota hai guru kehne se kya hota hai agar hum kisi ki zindagi mein roshni la sake automatically guru ban gaye thank you atmatre thank you rumata ji atmatre ha shivam sir shivam uh, as per my understanding guru is that who helps to enlightenment uh, yes uh, Help to anubhuti of God. Good. He is a true guru. Good. If the guru can give you anubhuti of God and enlightenment, what more you want? Atma tray. Anything more you want from the guru? Uh huh. But remember, the guru cannot do it for you. The guru yes. can only help you. Up to the power of power. My guru could not. Many gurus, you know what they do? I I, I find it very funny. Many gurus they put their hand on their head and they say, "Okay, brother, I am going to Om Te Om Bakam Jaja Mahe. You have put your hand on your head. Now your son has passed away. Come on, go. Now you are enlightened. Is it okay? Is it like that? I have initiated you. Many many shishas are fooled by the so-called initiation process. Many there are so many so many gurus. Who talk of initiation? What is initiation? Initiation is a good word, but the guru should initiate your talash. If the guru cannot initiate your talash, then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then you are not able to initiate your talash. Then cause very good and effect is nothing but a cause rearranged and good. third thing is the if you remove the cause there is no effect very good thank you so it is so good my, to know people have absorbed something because this is called either it is called the law of cause and effect but people okay. who don't want to confuse it they call it the law of causation it's also known as the law of causation mm -hmm. you can refer to this as the law of causation please continue okay so for uh, my thinking on uh, guru 
the person who who is not giving anything with sugar coating he is giving you fact whether you like it or not whether you accept it or not or whether you believe it or not means he will only tell you the truth without any rearrangement of coating or something to fill the person uh, fill the disciple that oh uh, this is nice you are doing and he is never hesitating in in showing him mirror that your progress you are not progressing you are here you need to run so he is always behind you make sure that you progress in and he is not happy until you are progressing he is only satisfied and stop when he see the uh, he is become happy when the disciple is progressing that is a and second thing is he is self self uh, there is he, there is no self motive or selfishness or something he is uh, you know wants from disciple that in the form of anything means he don't want anything in return he is giving as you know he is uh, meant to his purpose is only to give that is a true guru he don't want anything and he is very much particular and always available that is a uh, another uh, another sign of a guru and good the disciple will feel from inside that this is my guru that is, guru don't have to say that i am your guru i can guide you i can uh, make you, i am giving you guarantee that you will reach there <laughs> so these are the points where you can find out the true guru and the false guru thank you because he what because says a true guru is not one who has more number of disciples or followers is that the true guru i have 1 million followers or 1 billion followers or 10 million 50 million 500 million followers how does it matter a true guru if he can make one person enlightened in his full life one person it's a big achievement do you think it's easy to make one person enlightened in your life it's not easy even to make one person reach enlightenment is not easy and we are so lucky that in this call there are 50 60 people who are so keen so close to the destination i like what rajesh rao said <laughs> rajesh rao, I, i don't i just like the words i don't remember what he said uh, he said murshid murshid means guru actually yeah murshid wo jo hame manzil tak pahunchaye murshid wo jo hame manzil tak pahunchaye na wo ke sirf rasta dekh raha hai i think this is in essence what he said i don't think i'm uh, getting the meaning wrong i hope rajesh i am not got the meaning wrong but the point my dear friends is this murshid wo jo manzil tak pahunchaye na ke wo jo sirf rasta dekh raha hai so it is not somebody who gives big talks big you may be you may be known in the whole world you may be the highest number of followers on twitter and youtube and facebook and instagram so what happens have you been able to lead one person to enlightenment have you been able to help anybody realize god that is a true guru a true guru is more interested in this in the ability to take people across the shore this is the real mark of a true guru ashok chotwani thank you bliko ashok chotwani did it ashok ashok chotwani yeah 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 yes yeah, sir shivam sir shivam sir a true guru is one whose guru is enlightened person Good. a realized soul a karam yogi so a true guru is one who is a realized soul enlightened person and a karma yogi whose guru whose guru a true guru is one whose guru yes sir <laughs> <laughs> but understand one thing everybody who has a guru who is enlightened does not become enlightened but actually who guru should be enlightened no sir ah nahi so 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 if you have a guru whose guru is enlightened does not mean that you will be enlightened no but but he will uh, uh, teach us not sir now let me explain to you what i'm saying yeah aap kya bol rahe hain who is a true guru a true guru is somebody whose guru is enlightened yeah yeah abhi jiska guru enlightened hai uske paas to hazar shishya honge yeah 
that does not mean that all those hazar shishya are true gurus. No, but there are, yeah, 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 what you say. So don't just believe that if you have an enlightened master, that enlightened master, all his disciples are true gurus. No. But what you're saying, but what you're saying is a good qualification. A true guru is one who has been enlightened by an enlightened master. Yeah. That is correct. What you're and saying, I, that point is yeah. correct. I want to add, we are blessed that we have got air as a guru. But air is not a guru. Air yes, only air is only hava. Huh? What is hava? Hava me wo shakti. Main to wahi, main ye nahi. Asma me wo mafti. Main to wahi, main ye nahi. जो मैं दिखता वो मैं नहीं सच में तो मैं एक शक्ति कण कण में जो है शक्ति मैं तो हूँ वो शक्ति इंटरनेट प्रॉब्लम सुदीप आई यू एबल टू हियर दिस इज ऑडियो वीडियो ओके आत्मत्र आई थिंक अशोक योर यू हैव स्मॉल गुरुजी गुरुजी सबसे अच्छी बात ये है कि आप हमारी थिंकिंग को ना एक रुख दे दिया है मतलब आवाज केयर खत्म भी हो जाता है तो वो खत्म नहीं हो जाता है इट सेट्स अ न्यू थिंकिंग प्रोसेस अब जैसे कल प्रेम योगा पे बात हो रही थी सेशन तो खत्म हो गया पर जो थिंकिंग थी वो चलती रही वो प्रोसेस चलता रहे प्रेम का मतलब दिमाग में आ रहा है पी फॉर प्योरिफिक प्योरिफाई देन आर रिनाउंस entanglement in the world and then um e. em then i was saying merge with god so you see you only start the process aur fir hum different way mein dimag mein aane lag jata hai isko aise bhi ho sakta hai hum aise bhi soch kar sakte hain matlab e. you make the environment for us yeah this is ye aapki bada realizer पर ये आपकी दिस इज योर सीकिंग ये आपकी जिज्ञासा है दिस इज योर बड़क आपकी बड़कपन है सी एवरीबडी विल नॉट जो कई लोग धूम कॉल के बाद खत्म शट अप शट डाउन शट डाउन ओवर गुड बाय नहीं आई नो मेनी पीपल आफ्टर जूम कॉल इज ओवर दे मेक नोट्स दे सेंड मैसेजेस दे डू रिफ्लेक्शन दे टॉक टू मी दे सेंड मी अपडेट्स दे आर सो मेनी पीपल बिकॉज उनकी जिज्ञासा है आपने मुझे कल भी मैसेज भेजा आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल के गुरु पूछ रहा है कि भाई समझ आ गया था ना आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल ऐसा गुरु नहीं मिल सकता आई एम टेलिंग यू कि यू टेक एन एफर्ट ऑल्सो टू क्लेरिफाई समाइम्स के समझ आ गया बात नहीं हो पाई मतलब वॉट एवर मतलब गुरु की सब आप जो सेल्फलेसनेस है वो है गुरु की सबसे मेन क्वालिटी आपको क्या मिलता है कुछ नहीं यू वांट दैट वी शुड बी एनलाइटनमेंट कोई गुरु का सबसे अच्छी क्वालिटी है आप सब प्रभु है मैं प्रभु से डेली मिलता हूँ आप सब में मैं तो प्रभु देखता हूँ आप सब में नहीं नहीं ये बात <laughs> नहीं है आपका अपना कोई मोटिव नहीं है यू वॉन्ट एस टू बी एनलाइटन वो ही सबसे बड़ी अच्छी बात है आपकी थैंक यू एरू एंड लिखो हाँ बोलो एरू Uh, when you gave the analogy of uh, uh, mobile phone and guru, so I just wanted to add one thing. Uh, the like how a good mobile phone is always connected with the satellite. The guru is always connected uh, with the divine in yoga. So good, good point. So the, it, this is a good point. Is the guru uh, what Aru says? The guru is one who is always a yogi. so if you are if you if you have a guru who is a bhogi you should be able to make out if you if you have a guru who is a bhogi he is not a yogi he cannot the guru has to be in consciousness so eru says this is one way to make out a true guru so just like how a, a good mobile phone is always the sim card is always connected to the satellite she is going by that analogy that a sim card is connected to a, a guru 
some of you, I think, I think was it Blikko or who said, a guru is always in yoga. In, that is very important. Because my guru, you know, give me an example. I, I, I'm telling you, every time you come bring a point, I talk about my guru. My guru, from morning to night, more morning to night, my guru, my guru never went for a party. I've never seen my guru holding Coca-Cola in his hand and drinking. No, because he, all these things were meaningless to him. Of course, I may drink a Coca-Cola. That I'm just I'm talking about my guru. My, when my guru reached that state of purification and illumination, he, well, he transcended all these things. Of course, uh, once he was playing ping pong with some children whom he saw God in, and he fell down and he broke his hand. He fractured his hand. And then he had to have several uh, several surgeries and in the surgery he got paralyzed so you know even the guru has his own challenges in life but he was from morning to night he was a yogi he was constantly in yoga thank you eru bliko and yogini bliko so so i we were talking about guru but you know the, uh, i want to emphasize on the disciple also because disciple is uh, the one who has uh, quality of mumukshutva if he like a fire we 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 generate the fire, uh, spark but if the grass is wet the fire will not take place correct so if the grass is dry if his disciple is ready and and guru gives spark and if the it will catch the fire and it will never stop because that fire like uh, guru mata ji is saying that the, the Squall will end, but the fire started will continue. So the whole you know, day you are thinking about that. Yeah. But that let me tell you, Nico, with all due respect, let me tell you. See, what happens is the moment we have a guru, our requirement is just to latch on to the guru. I, I, I latched on to my guru. I caught on to my guru for 25 years. Now I'm asking, I hope Dasi is on the line. I don't know whether Dasi can speak or not. But my guru had thousands of disciples, thousands. Dasi will tell you how many thousands of disciples. But how many of the disciples actually got that grace of the guidance of the Guru? How many of the disciples were able to attain enlightenment? So it is the Guru's grace. It's not that every the Guru cannot make everybody reach that. You may be a Mamukshutva, but it is also GGGG, guidance of the Guru and grace of God. God. So my guru used to push me so much in the field of, you know, the bhakti yoga. So, so much go forward. So um, it is good for you to have quality. But what I don't know whether Dasi I could, could speak. Many of the thousands of people had bhakti and I loved my guru or not. But my question I was asking Dasi if he can answer. Did all of them achieve enlightenment? Dasi, are you, are you able to give the answer, Dasi? No, not at all. In fact, uh, our, our guruji had once uh, in a big gathering, he was saying that he has spent 80 years of his life before that. His brother also spent 80, 90 years. Not even one, one person, one individual has, has been enlightened. My God, my God. Can you see what Dasi said? Thousands of people are around, thousands of satsangis. And uh, they are doing bhajans every day, but he says not even one so one person has been enlightened. This is very touching. See, see what Dasi is saying. I mean, I, this is a, this is a big, very important thing. So we need to find the guru, and we need to be a mumukshu, and we need to thank you, Dasi, and we need to have the magic, not that the mumukshu, that asking, the ability to ask. Then having the grace of God and the guidance of the Guru, then overcoming ignorance, then remaining in consciousness. That's why, you know, why I come on this call to you every day. Why do I request all of you? Don't miss the call. Why do I request you all? I request you all, even if you are busy, even if you are on audio, if you're not on video, you must come on the call because this is, don't break the, don't break, break the satsang. Don't, this is yoga. This is Jnana Yoga. This is Bhakti Yoga. This is this is Yoga. This call. 30 minutes for me, it's complete Yoga. I disconnect from the world. I connect with all of you. So thank you. Uh, Yogini. Shivoham. Shivoham. 
मेरे हिसाब से गुरु वो होते हैं जो गीली मिट्टी से एक आकार बनाते हैं ओके तो वी आर ऑल लाइक गीली मिट्टी आपने हम लोगों को ऐसे बनाया है ताकि हम लोग अपने एनलाइटनमेंट पार्ट पे चल सके सो यू आर राइट गुरु गुरु डज दैट बट रिमेम्बर दिस वो मिट्टी को गीली बनना देट वे लाइक ब्लिको साइड that has to be done by the shishya no by the mumukshu by the seeker by the jigyasu so agar wo the, the no doubt the guru will make every possible effort but all i'm telling you is before i end this call today many of you have spoken the last 10 15 minutes so many people give so many good ideas a real guru getting to that state of finding a real guru is the only way to reach god without the guru you cannot reach god that's why she the yogendra you all talk about this although i in the last talk of the guru i told you all this guru cannot be greater than god we had a big discussion on this but ah huh? parathiya ma wants to speak yes parathiya ma no this i don't see parathiya ma okay there's some quick comments on the by abina power one who can make his or her disciple enlightened is a guru true guru lena in which ever stage we may be a person who helps in transformation and at least is a true guru girish a true guru teaches his disciple through his own behavior and ashok nichani a true guru is always in consciousness no expectation always content who has already killed his mind my dear friends i want to only last leave you with one thought a true guru is one who can take you from darkness to light in one line if a true guru whatever be his qualities if a true guru can throw light upon you he is a true guru and i like to salute rajesh rao for a beautiful thing i learned from him what did he say he is a guru wo murshid wo murshid wo jo manzil tak pahuncha hai na ki sirf wo jo rasta dikha hai i really like what he said i don't know from where he picked it from which scripture but it's very beautiful when you use the word murshid normally it's a sufi saying the word murshid normally comes from sufism but my dear friends every day with all humility i come down with folded hands because you are all gurus you are all gurus and i try with whatever little way i can to switch on a little bit more light so that at the end of the day you become one with the divine my goal is only one to help you in the journey of pirlo and with that submission and folded hands i bow down to you <laughs>